Welcome to Creative Piano Academy with me, Joseph Saikara, where I show you everything you need to just sit at that piano and play it. This is a fantastic exercise to just get the fingers moving, get the wrist developed, get the speed, fluidity, um, in a really nice, fun, musical way. So hopefully you'll find this exercise harder than it looks and you'll start to really feel that burn. Um, but get your right hand into this position right here. So we've got a slight turning of the wrist, thumb on the B flat, first finger on the E flat, third finger on the F, fourth finger on the G. And for those keen observers amongst you, you will be you will be very happy to know we're not in the key of C. We've changed key. Yeah. So B flat, E flat, F, G. I've got two patterns here for you. One that's uh, fairly basic and then one that's a bit more melodic. So for the basic one, we're just going to alternate uh, between the E flat, B flat, E flat, B flat, and then third finger onto the F, F, B flat, and then G, B flat. Notice how the notes just, we just play whatever notes we want. Our fingers are nicely laid over those keys, so we know what fingering we need to, we need to use. So we've got E flat, B, B flat, E flat, B flat, F, B flat, G, B flat, okay? If you put the pedal down, sounds like this. Okay? And that's it. That just repeats itself over and over again. The magic happens when we add in even just very simple things in the left. But uh, if I stick the pedal down, and we we'll even play it nice and slow, this is what it sounds like. Yeah. So, because we've got the pedal down, and we've got all those notes blending together, it is sort of forming a nice little suspension chord here. We've got an E flat major chord with an F, so it's almost like a well, it's it's an E flat sus two, isn't it? So we want to speed that up. Really try and feel the burn here, nice and even as well. So we don't want this. Okay, so another part of the exercise. That's um, it's really good for getting the smoothness, the accuracy. Few things to watch out for, shoulder nice and relaxed, arched all the way down to the tips of the fingers like this. We want uh, no angle, so we don't want like a claw or anything like strange looking. Um, quite simply, just a nice arc all the way down to the tips of the fingers. That means that we can have a nice structure here. We don't want to be floppy like a noodle, but we don't want to be tense like this, like a rock. We want to just have a combination of the two so that um, we have enough structure to strike the keys and we have enough looseness to be able to really get the speed and get the flow down into the keys. And you want to try and get this snap from the fingers down into the keys. The wrist is there for support and the fingers are the ones that's snapping down onto the keys and that way <laughs> we can get the um, we can get the speed. Right, so how do we make that a bit more interesting? Well, I've got a left hand part for you. Uh, so first of all, let's learn that. So left hand, octave Fs, quite simply, you know, and this is where you can be like, you just, just hammer the keys, you know, just really just go for it because it just, it, it genuinely sounds really, to me, sounds really good. So Fs and then A flats and then E flats. So we've got a big epic resolve there, yeah? And then here, I'm going to move from the F, uh, from the from the E flats to the D's here or here. It's up to you. I'll play them up here because I think it sounds a little bit less muddy. And then it nicely leads us back into the repeat. F, A flat. Oops. We'll come on to that. E flats and D's. Okay. Now, incidentally, these notes that I'm playing in the left are all part of the E flat major scale. You know, I've explained that a little bit more in depth in the guide sheet that accompanies this video, which is over on Patreon. I'm just playing around with the notes in the E flat, and you can too. So, Fs, A flats, E flats, and then Ds, okay? So, when we play it together, twice round, twice round, three times round, one time round, and then repeat. It's got a bit of a chord play vibe, hasn't it? Something like that. Maybe. A sing along. 
something or other. Um, what am I waffling about? Anyway, shut up, carry on. So that is a main pattern. We're going to develop that a bit further and make it a bit more interesting. But before we do, I have a new course coming out called Creative P uh, Piano Patterns. It's got 30 patterns in there, uh, much like the ones on YouTube, but just better, more beautiful, deeper, richer, and more creative. If you're interested in that kind of a course and you want to just have 30 ways to sit at a piano and just play beautiful music while increasing those core skills at the same time, make sure you are on my email list. Click the link in the cards or uh, check out the information box down below. I've even included a little taster lesson so you can get an idea of what's in the course. So check that out and get on my email list if that piques your interest. What would I do without coffee? Oh sweet nectar of the energy gods. So I want to expand this right hand pattern a little bit. Um, if you notice we only use the thumb, the first, the, the, the thumb, the second, the third and the fourth finger, but what about this little finger? What if we want to include that as well? Um, so the little finger is going to hop between this A flat and the B flat like this. So let me play it for you first and then we'll break it down. So it sounds like this. Okay, so that's it. And hopefully you like that. It's got a bit more melodic uh, interest to it. Sounds a bit more melodic to me anyway. Um, so we start off the same. Okay, we've got that first bit. And then for the second bit, like that. So we've got E flat, B flat, E flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, and then G, and then B flat, okay? So, yeah. And we can just keep repeating that as you get used to it. Lots of finger control in this one as well, you know, because your fingers are going to be hovering between these two black keys here, so you're going to have to have some accuracy here. You don't want to be striking those flat keys like this, which might happen. Um, try and adjust yourself so you're making sure that you're coming in over the top. If, you, if you're a bit too flat and you're at an angle, then you're going to catch those keys. You want to be nicely coming at it from over the top. Remember that curved, um, that curved posture, structure, whatever. Um, allows that to happen. So here, over the top. So we've got... Okay. And then it's the first time round again. Yeah. And then we're going to bring this little finger to the A flat and just hover uh, or bring the notes down. So we're going to go A flat, B flat, G, B flat, F, B flat, E flat, B flat. Okay. Alright, so we're alternating between those um, between those fingers and the thumb. So again, if you need to get used to this, just isolate it. So if we put that together, we get this. One, two, three, four. Repeat. Okay. And hopefully you can see by uh, by now that there's infinite numbers of these. You can just have hours of fun playing around with all sorts of melodies and shapes here. Uh, this is just two examples that I particularly like. So if we add the left hand in, we'll keep the left hand the same. Sounds like this. No, we don't. I'll play that again. I just love this kind of stuff. So look guys, you know, at the end of the day, two patterns for you. Brilliant for developing your muscles, your fingers, flow and speed, hand coordination, finger control. It's got everything you could, uh, you could want in an exercise. And to top it all off, it sounds really nice to me and I hope it does to you too. As always, there's a guide sheet available for this video over on my Patreon page. So you can go over there, support me, support these videos and uh, get a whole host of guide sheets for, for lots of videos that I've put out. That's patreon.com slash 
Creative Piano Academy, I've also put an extra little video on there exploring some more melodies and left hand parts, so check that out. Till next time, grab yourselves a beautiful cup of coffee, just sit at that piano and feel the burn. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, as well as hitting that little notification bell next to it, so you know when I upload new videos, and I will see you, I will see you in the next video. Peace.